Oh my goodness, fellas. Yes, we're getting ready for Cider Frosting Time. It's Sunday. We're just waiting for the dwarf to get here. Late again. But when he gets here, we have got a whole array of work to get through. We've got to uh, wash the apples and then we've got to get the scratching bucket together with the uh, DIY scratter. See if that works. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to get the food processor out and do it the way we did it when we first did it. When we did it, did it. And then we've got to get the HLT sorted because we're going to be pasteurising the cider in the HLT because the boil pot is still out of commission. But it ain't a bad thing because we're going to use the Herms coil to pass ice water from the mash tun through the Herms coil to cool the cider once we've pasteurised it. And um, yeah, the first runnings coming through the Herms coil I'll probably ditch and keep topping up the uh, mash tun with some cold water until it's took most of the heat out of it and then, and then we're ready to just recirculate it and uh, ferment it. So when he gets here, we'll get started. Oh my goodness! So I've just had word that uh, Paul is on his way. Just at the shop picking up the uh, picking up the ice, and uh, I'm gonna screw this to this. I've just built this makeshift little uh, stool tabley thing for it to sit on, so that it's up here, so we can press at ease and fill it. And uh, just gained a bit of height, so I'm gonna screw it. To it. Screw it to it. Can I get my screws out? Get my screws out. There we go. So that's fastened to the table. Freaking awesome. Already started washing uh, washing the apples that I brought back. <clears throat> Paul's on his way with his load, which he will be coming on the lane in a second. Then we'll have the full amount here. And this is the lid that's going to go over the scratting bucket, whichever one we pick. And uh, we can put the uh, put the drill through it. In gold dwarf holes here. Good morning! Hey. How are you? What's the matter? What? What's the matter? Water! Water! Ice. 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 What? Where are they from? Oh, you've took Couldn't some out. Couldn't, Couldn't lift it. I dropped off and down a minute. And the horse <laughs> was trying to get to it. I'll have to wait. They both have to wait. <laughs> so, I had an idea about soaking these apples. You know, if you soak them overnight, all the grubs get out, come out of them. Yeah, I soaked, I left too full of water yesterday. And all grubs come out of them. Well, that's what you meant to do, isn't it? What's that, a bag? What's that, a bag? How do you work this? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell have you done to this? <laughs> <laughs> How do you get filming now? <laughs> you might have to just hold the wood. I might just do that. Uh, has it worked? Oh, oh my goodness! Look at that! 
Broke it. <laughs> broke it. Yeah. Too much stress for it. Well, I've squashed that down, it's tightened it up. They're gonna get me hammer. Right then. Do it. <coughs> Here it is. Oh, What's this, a bag? Yeah. Just leave that in there. I'm going to press some more, aren't we? I'm going to press some more. There you go, across there. Get them other two under there. Yeah, get them other two under there. We'll get a good out. Uh, Simple. Oh, I'm good, Paul. Oh, they're good. Cross them, cross them over that way. Spread the. Uh, spread the load. Like Jenga. Jenga Denga. Right, Paul, get the old. Uh, You're getting a bit tight. Get, get the handle in there. Pointy end first, obviously. <laughs> Point first. Put other end I think you need to drink a bit more water. I think you need to drink a bit more water. There you go. Have a close look at this failed but yet working uh, Maserata. Uh, yeah. All over. That's good. No <laughs> Do too bad a job, did it? Yeah. That, Good, in all fairness, Good, oh, sad off, sad off, sad off, sad off, sad off, sad off. Oh, shot. what a shot! Rounders. <laughs> like Mr. Miyagi then. <laughs> Shit bags. Uh. <laughs> what the What the deuce? Where did that go? Did that go in juice? You hold it there, Paul no. Don't shake it. Just hold it. Oh. Out. <laughs> you can't beat the teaser tout. I treat that man. I treat. Follow my weed this morning. <laughs> Thank you.
What a day, Paul, eh? Hey? Huh? What a day. Yeah. Got through got through this bloody thing and three others and bags and got that to do and that to finish, haven't we? And then that, that's it. it. The uh, what we've got in here, we've got uh, 19 litres in there with another four litres I bet we get out of that. And uh, this is still chilling. Just running ice water through the is, coil here, yeah, 41 degrees. So when they get started to back, another 20 degrees down, we'll uh, bang that into a fermenter and that is done, Paul. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then you've got to go and buy ice creams for everyone. So I'll get that, what we're pressing at the minute, into there, pasteurize that and let it just leave it. I've run out of ice water. Just leave it, just recirculating and that'll probably be ready to go in the fermenter at about midnight. <laughs> I'll just let it chill down in here. So, my goodness. Going well, it? Going well. Wasps. Plagued us. This one's got shit, so frightened it to death. Eh? I frightened it that much, it shit itself. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's bin this out now into here and uh, pitch some yeast. We had a full day then, full day pressing the juices out of them goddamn apples. We spent the majority of the Saturday collecting them and then, uh, oh, most of the day scratting them and pressing them. But we did get, we managed to get 10 litres, at uh, 10 litres, <laughs> God. We managed to get 10 gallons, so that's five gallons a piece. That ain't bad for the first run. We're only just starting, we've got, um, We've got a farm just up the road and we're going to go up there and collect the apples. Well, the press worked well. I was happy with the press. I was happy with how much juice we were getting out of it. The problem I had is that I wasn't sort of pushing it to its limit on uh, juice extraction because the blocks that I cooked, uh, I don't think I've got any here, I think they're outside, but I could only cook four extra two inch blocks to get the height in the press and really could have done with another two or four of them to really get the full amount of juice out of those apples and that's something that I'm going to rectify for next time when we start pressing. And then the scratter, well, you saw what the scratter did. It just shed the weight. It was making itself streamlined. Um, yeah, the scratter, I think if the welds on the um, paddle were stronger, it would have been fantastic. I mean, before it broke, it chopped them apples up in no time at all and I noticed that the drill just was going round with no pressure on it at all and that's when we realised it had shed the wings, got rid of them but what we were left with worked well. I think next year though we're going to get like what Harry's got, we're going to get a cheap um, shredder, garden shredder and we're going to do it that way because that is that is the quickest way and you get a good sort of crush on the apples. But uh, that's all what we're gonna sort of address next year, get properly prepared for it. But uh, we had a blast, we had a blast. Yeah, the cider is blupping away. It's uh, it's just starting to blup, blup, blup. So, you know what, I'll film it and probably upload another video about that, uh, just to show you. But that's it guys, that is the start of cider season 2015. Oh my goodness, 10 gallons already down on the first day. I'm not going to remember much of this winter, I don't think. But if we do quite a bit, we ain't going to manage to drink it all, so we'll be able to age some. So that's it, fellas. So, for my this video, kids that don't want to do, don't forget to subscribe. It's a little red button down here that says subscribe. Click it, you won't miss out on what's coming up next. And share the video, get it out there for all to see. Until next time, I'm out of here.